In my last video, Understanding the Domino CRUD API dollar dollar return basics, I showed you how you can create a very simple confirmation message or even redirect to another URL after a successful notes document create or update via the Domino CRUD API. And that prompted someone to ask me, can I just put all of my confirmation me uh, page markup in the dollar dollar return field and create a richer user experience for my web browser client applications? Well, it's kind of what they asked, but bear with, I, I spun it a little. Uh, so in this video, we'll talk about how we can create a smart landing page. Uh, we're going to use post submission to display context sensitive information on the page as well as have that richer user experience that we're used to in our current web applications uh, today. I have the an example of what we're going to shoot for on screen. This is actually the end result, uh, the smart landing page. So let's look at the key components of this smart landing page. Uh, first you'll see that the uh, landing page is actually confirmation.html. Uh, it also contains a query string unid. And our page contains the notes uh, document data, uh, the title, description, keywords, and permalink from our uh, notes document. And there's going to be a redirect off of this page that redirects to the base launch element. You can see here if I mouse over it actually goes back to the example.nsf. Uh, I've disabled it for the use uh, in here and I'll show you how that's set up uh, just so we can start with this landing page. We'll just jump right into it. On the form itself, I've modified the, on the content form, I've modified the dollar dollar return and added in a target URL to point to but I'm using the at document unique ID value from the submitted document. This is grabbed returned at runtime, so it actually displays in the URL. From there, all I need to do on our confirmation page is first, I'll start with our refresh. So I'm going to have it refresh back to, and this is a just a meta header refresh it's set to five seconds. It's going to refresh and point the user back to that default uh, design element link. I'll go in here and you can see I actually have this hidden. Great tip if you want to hide markup, just go in and set it as text and hide the text with a simple hide win. We'll scroll down here. Here's the basic markup. I have a, a catch-all here after the body if the if there's no unit in the query string I do an immediate script tag windows.location redirect back to the base um, URL we'll actually see that right here so if someone opens up the confirmation.html it redirects directly back there they don't get the option no matter what they try so you won't get someone inadvertently landing on the confirmation page and you'd see from here this just grabs the title, builds out my form. This is where the magic happens. For the title, in the second column, I'm just grabbing a computed uh, text entry, putting it in, uh, using the URL query string to grab the value from the unit, and then using at get document or at get doc field formula to use the unit to grab and return the title field pretty simple stuff. This gives us that context sensitive uh, return that we had first seen. And here's the last bit. We have the URL. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to show you a quick example of how this is going to work. I'll just go in here. I'll authenticate, of course. Go in. Test, test, test. Click Submit Changes. And we're back at that screen. You can see here's test five, test, test, the unit. It redirects without me clicking on it. And there's our smart landing page. Uh, how you can extend that dollar dollar return value and get a really functional application experience out of a very simple feature within the Domino CRUD API. Questions, comments? Email me at c2e at dominoguru.com or online at www.dominoguru.com. Take care.